Hey, love bugs. It's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning sub to my grown, extended, beautiful family. Thank you so much for love and support. It's always truly appreciated. If you have been watching my videos and have not already, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of the video. And the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101 Hey Okas, transmuting those exact vibes that uh, was sent that was sent to destroy you. You are the mastery of alchemy. You truly are. Um, I'm gonna start putting this in my videos. It's divinely protected. You know, any ill wishes or anything that they're trying to put on me is gonna come right back to you because my my stuff is bliss. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um. There, there's so many different things. When I sit up here and say all these daggone new moons and these, you know, uh, atmosphere changes that are going in, portals are opening up and they're lining up, is really been hitting, uh, hitting in ways we weren't in, anticipating. You know, you're you're heightened on everything. Everything is, uh, ugh, intense. You know, and you're growing. All do these different things in our lives and it's just like you you know you were guided to go within I mean deep diving within you need to see yourself at every core there's a part of yourself that has not been explored yet is waiting for you to do that and there's so many different things what's going on you know and everybody's going through transitions but we have to be able to understand and not take it personal there's gonna be a lot of energy it's not the people but the energy that's connected with them there's going to be a lot of energy that's going to come to you and try to disrupt your whole game plan. And you have to be able to be prepared for that. And a lot of times it's like, how are you going to be prepared? You don't even know when somebody about to come up and be unruly. <clears throat> you bet, but you always have to be aware of that. You're a warrior. You know when to be able to sniff that out. Because it's at that time, if you've been on this journey for a long time, really trying to know parts of yourself, because it's getting the veils are being snatched, they're being very thin. Because there'll be certain things you see now you weren't able to see before. But you had to go through a lot of experiences. You have to acknowledge a lot of different things. You know, understand a lot of things. You have to constantly allow yourself to say, don't take it personal, you know. And there will be a lot of different things that people is doing. You know, it's just like I tell people. We go one on one. When you're leveling up, you know, the good, the spiritual, you know, the light, love, compassion, prosperity, abundance, you have to understand everything in balance. So you got a, 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 a vibration tracker, you know, which is negative, you know, sucking all energy out, trying to put doubt in your head, all that, because devil on the side, all these different things towards us. You know, I always say, you, if you watch my videos, the devil and God go hand in hand, but they got two different intentions for the experiences that you face you know a lot of times we try to understand why did God allow these stupid things to happen you need to know pay attention to the red flags see who is really truly in your life and is doing that for our best benefit to see you on that come up because there's a lot of people even the enemies you don't realize they're helping you get to that next chapter you have to be able to take good and bad you know that's life you know there are a lot of times people will lash out at you you know, like, dang, I'm minding my own dad on business, and this fool come up, <laughs> this, this, that, and the third. And, you, you, you know, like, where did this come from? You know, or you be that type of person where drama follows you all the time. And a lot of times, you you know, we make mistakes, you know. You may be something that keys off and be having a whole bunch of people trying to come at you. But there's a lot of times just for your essence to be walking in the room. Your, your light, you know, that energy you carry triggers the hell out of people's demons. You know, so the more you heal... And the more you upgrade, the more you're going through these powerful ascensions, transitions, transmutations, all these spiritual trends. It, it's, it's, it's bringing something up in people that they don't want to acknowledge. The things that they want to curve so they don't have to be aware. Because they're aware of it. It's just some people are not wanting to do the work. And, you know, it had to be at that point in time. They're telling you, pick your battles wisely. Really pick your battles wisely. There'll be different things where there'll be people just constantly watching you. There's some people you know, some people you don't know. You've been going word of mouth about you. So it's just like if there's people that are triggered by your, your essence, triggered by your growth, you know, your uh, circumstances, or just the way you are able to bounce back after going through things, you know, or different times where people may wish bad on you, ill wishers. And they're really trying to be stuck and confused. How the hell? 
You know, when you ever seen a post, it's like people ain't smiling at you because they admire you. They trying to understand why the hell you still up here after all the stuff they don't put on you. Because you were chosen. You were that one It's like, you know, take a licking and keep on ticking. People try to understand that. You know, they admire you for that. You know, they may not admit that, but they really admire you. Like, dang, I want to be able to know how they do that. I don't like you. I, I got started on my daggone stuff at early age. So I was getting there, you know. And you try to understand, you know, why people always go out their way to try to find different things about you. The sabotage. It ain't nothing personal. It would have been somebody else. They probably do that to other people, too. Anytime they, you know, they see something very unique about you, you stand on your own. You know, you can speak a good talk. You know about yours. You're open to suggestions. You're open for different understandings. You're open to grow in every way. And there's a lot of times people really are irritated by that. And you don't know. It's like, you know, you could be going through stuff and you keep focusing on, on what person cheated on you, what person lied to you, what pe person brought you into some drama had nothing to do with you. All these different things. You know, and it'll be just different people. You know, even it's like I tell people, be careful about them friend requests. You know, and be careful about the friend requests because not everybody is, you know, requesting to come into your life is wanting to get to know you. You know, wanting to be your friend or wanting to catch up. A lot of them is just surveillance cameras to be able to look at everything you you do. Don't don't comment. Don't like. It'll be different times where you may have. Uh, unfriended somebody or unfollowed somebody next you know 24 hours didn't even go by and they hitting you hey why did you unfriend me oh I thought something was wrong I thought you were dead I didn't know what's going on but that was the point you know they don't want to like anything that you have you know they sit up here cussing up a storm giving you the, the gas face like you know one of those different things because they're trying to figure out how do they do that you know how do they get people to notice you you know, you could be a type of person where you in school or you at your work and there are people, a whole lot of people just gravitate towards you because of your, your element of uh, personality. You don't have to try hard. It's just you being you irritate people because they got to do little dumb things, immature things to get attention. You know, make up stories just to be able to have people to listen because their life is boring. So they got to be able to do something, you know, or you find out different things. You even been at a job. It's, you know, you get rolled up being in the office. Why is this and this and this coming? I'm like, well, you trying to understand where the heck that's coming from? Because you got a lot of people probably, you know, testing you with your job. You know, probably got fired from your job because you spoke truth. It ain't like that. You know, all those different things you don't realize, you know, when you when you see why the enemies always got to constantly watch me. Because they admire you. They really admire you. Now letting you know you must be on something very good when you got people like that that can't even stand you. You know, because a lot of times people put something on you and then come back to see if it worked. Hey, how you doing? And you getting that, that that little gut feeling like, what the hell? You know, and I, I appreciate all the stuff I went through like that. You know, and it, it, it's a real hurtful feeling. But then it's like when I allow myself to look at the positive uh, uh, perspective on that, it's giving you that red flag. Watch how people respond to you. Or they call you a little nickname. All of a sudden, like, hey, boo, hey, sis, hey, love, this and this and that. And all of a sudden, hey, Rosalind. Oh, wait. Oh, we up in our ego today. Delete. I ain't about to go there with you. <laughs> I'm 45 years old. I ain't got time to be playing these little kitty games. You know, I've been out of school for a long time. I ain't trying to go back, you know. But I appreciate everything that is done to me like that because it allows me to know I'm not collecting no red flags. When you first show me who you truly are and you got that flip side, they ain't got nothing to do with me. And it's more about your insecurities, you know, or your comparison or competition. Baby, they ain't know. I, I don't do that. I don't play those games. You know, I used to entertain stuff like that and be wondering why I'd be ready to do a smackdown on somebody. Now it's just like you showed me who you are. I believe you. Now it's time to go. I'm not entertaining that. You know, it's just like growing up. I used to always entertain that. Be around people that I know good and well, hell, didn't want to be around me. Or they kept me up in bit, you know, kept me up in mess. You had to be able to go through that because there's something about you that irritates the hell out of their soul. They got to be fake flexing, finessing all stuff, knowing they ain't got it, you know. But you, people just want to get to know you because there's something that's very drawn to you. You got that element that is just, ooh, who that? You know, who that? You know, who that man? You know, and it, it's just those different things and you just don't know. There's people you sitting up here living rent-free all up in their head and you try, what, what they doing next? 
they doing this, they doing that. That's why it's just like, even, you know, before, you know, you've been with me for a while. Uh, and when I feel like taking a hiatus, I used to say, y'all, hey, it's time for self-care. And then I noticed, like, as soon as I started doing that, a whole bunch of mischief just constantly coming in my, in my life. Because I know I got folks on here that don't like me. You know, they hate who I am. They don't want my truth coming out. They're very insecure about those things. And it had to get to that point where I can't stop telling people what you're doing. Stop informing so much. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand doing. You know they're watching your videos just to see where they can sit up here and tear something down in your life. Or trying to block something out that you can't receive. Because they don't want to see you happy. And it's nothing to do with you. they just miserable ass people. Don't wish nothing on them. Don't work bad with them. You have to understand. You can't place pain on somebody that's already putting pain on themselves. You have to use with all that energy. They sit the knock you down to build you up you transmuting that when you notice that and it'll be just like man here they go bringing that energy over here again transmute that you can use that they making you famous and don't even realize they doing that you know and you have to understand that a lot of people will come into your life and try to trigger you just because your element of growth healing and trying to understand to get to that next level irritates the hell out of them it triggers them because they don't want to do that you know, you have to understand some people will stay in situations like that into bad, you know, issues, not healing, victimizing, you know, the narcissist, sociopath, psychopath, sadist, whatever, you know, they don't want to hold the truth in that because when you hold the truth open, it whole, opens up a whole Pandora's box that they're too scared to face, you know, and there'll be times people want you to doubt yourself. There'll be times when people see you. In a, in a very stressful situation and will mock you about that laugh at you you know and that could be very hurtful it's like why would they do that I would never do that to people stop expecting you to come out of everybody nobody don't, not everybody got the same heart as you not everybody got that same mindset as you because just because you do somebody good like that don't give them an obligation they'll show you who you, who you truly are when they finish off a of benefit not for you and they'll really show their true colors and then when they need you again, they'll, you know, they'll be like, hey, I'm just stopping by to say hi. Because they want to have that open line of communication. So when they need you again, they're always there. You know, you're always there. And these are the things you have to really sit back and grow. You have to really understand, you know, that is not your, your battle to be fighting. But they're sending energy towards your way. And you'll feel the shift. Maybe sometimes you're not motivated. You've been doing things you truly enjoy. And it's a positive thing, especially if it's a positive thing. Now, it's a different thing where you've been doing stuff and it was like, eh, God will try to, you know, yeet you to a different direction saying, okay, you did this for a while. Okay, you experienced that. Now it's time to let that go and move on to something else. I got something better for you, you know. And you're trying to understand the different things that are taking place into your life, you know, uh, where it's meant for you to grow. You know, things hurt you, it's helping you in some kind of way. And sometimes it's hard. It's like, how is this hurting you, it's helping you? You have to understand, these are the different things that's going to make you a beast. You know, these are the different things that's going to give you into that ultimate self-discovery of finding out who you truly are. You know, because we were built on uh, lies. We were built on uh, programming from our parents, from what they're, not, you know, what they've been pushed on them. They push that on us because you're unlearning a lot of things. You know, you're not seeing the illusion and smoke and mirrors no more. You're brave enough to allow yourself to find facts, find truth, you know. And it gets to that point, you know, whatever you are lacking in this lifetime, these experiences going to help you be able to correct that. But you're going to be at that point where, you know, when you really go soul searching, you go through a lot of things and sometimes you go through the worst. You really do. You go through the worst and you're really trying to understand why does this constantly have to be me? Why do I have to constantly go through this pain? I don't wish nothing on nobody. You're clearing your karma. Not just from this life, but every lifetime that you didn't go ahead and finish. You know, you had unfinished business with the change in your life. But you were the one who was chosen for this. You know, and you really, at times you really don't feel like I have the heart. I don't have the strength to keep doing this. I ain't got the brain capacity to keep doing this. And it just gets to that point where universe and God, your ancestors, the people that really truly and care about you, they want you to see something in yourself that you aren't able to see before. And when you're going through that, you're going through these daggone situations for you to show that. These people, your enemies, they know something good about you. And that's what they can't stand. You know, I always had to have people come at me with some negative stuff. 
or, you know, I had to hear, you know, fake family. So if you're always talking about the bad stuff, don't ever talk about the good stuff in the room unless they're talking about their good stuff with their family. They do that because they can't stand what's good about you. You know, they want to get on that negative bandwagon and want everybody to hate you just because there's something about you that really, you know, uh, in, in, uh, intimidates them about you. You know, because it's like I've been through stuff. And I was like, why well, always got to be the one who has to be, a, you know, the bigger person to apologize when none of these MFers are sitting up here doing it to me? Or why am I the one I don't, you know, they would be throwing the rock and hide the hand. And then when you come confront and want to take it to the streets, all of a sudden they bitched up and then walk the other way. But they weren't having that same energy when they were creating that chaos in your life. I said, keep the same energy. You know, I said, you know, sidewalks. <laughs> it was like, you, can't, you ain't made for the street. That's why they made sidewalks and kind of get yourself up off that. You know, you have to be able to do that. And these are the different things you have to understand. You, you know, I got people watching me all the time. And it had to be at that point. I can't let people know what the right hand doing. If I want to step back and just really just collect myself, you know, because I love doing my videos, but it's just like I can't pour from an empty cup. I can't help nobody if I ain't help myself, you know. And there'll be times I wanted to go, and there'll be different times where I'd be irritated. Like, Ugh, I've been taking gone, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to miss out on something if I don't do videos. Because, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you know, there'll be sometimes I came out with 10 videos a day. And it'll come out like that for three, four, three, four weeks. And now it's just, since I've been doing it so long and these changes is going, I have to come back, you know, really step back and just look at life within a whole. What am I willing to change? What, what is something I need to focus on? What do I need to stop focusing on? What do I need to forgive? What do I need to forget? You know, and there ain't going to be forgetting. You, can, you need to forgive. You got to forgive yourself because a lot of times you're beating your own self up over stuff that, you know, man, why didn't I say this? Why didn't I have a powerful comeback? Why didn't I do this? And it's just like, don't beat yourself up for that. You know so much more than you do uh, back then that you do now. These are learning experiences. You know, if you've been in toxic relationships, you had to be able to go through that because there will be something that's going to be straight out of whack from the last one. And they want you to really pay attention. Really pay attention. Don't get comfortable collecting red flags. You know, keep your boundaries solid. You have to be able to understand your haters are your best admirers. Anything that you're doing and it's, you really believe in yourself, you know, it'll be people sitting up here judging you done gave up on their, on their dreams or they feel like they didn't have what it takes. So they want to, don't ever take advice from somebody like that. You know, just because your dreams didn't work, I'm staying on mine. You know, and a lot of times it may take a little bit longer, you know, because God's got something huge coming in for you. He wants you to really learn lessons. He wants you to really heal. You know, allow your story of experience to not just inspire you, but inspire other people. You can do it too. You know, you've got that strength in there is waiting for you to connect in the most powerful way. Because it's like through the hurt, the pain, the setback, failures, you know, mishaps, impulsive choices, you know, toxic relationship, narcissistic relationships. It's going to allow you, either you can allow these experiences to make you crumple or you can make this help you evolve. And that's, you always choose the latter, choose the latter, you know, because you got so much potential in yourself. And it's just like when they're doing that, you're living rent free in their head. How can I be able to piss this person off today? How do I be able to sabotage, help them sabotage something for them today? What can I do to make them mad? And it's just like, damn, you be waking up with some type of, you know, it sound like pinky in the brain. You know, what are we doing? You know, destroy the world. It's like that. And you just like, damn, I'm just trying to get to this next level. This ain't, you have to understand. You have, you know, a lot of times you're ready to pop off. A lot of times you're ready to catch a charge. And it's, it's just like, I've been that way. You know, it could be times. I said, why do I always got to deal with people that throw a rock and hide the hand? I'm the type of person, I'll throw a whole damn brick and then sit there and wait for your ass to come up. You're like, girl, what, what happened to this, man? What are we? Oh, I did. You want me to tell you why? <laughs> I'm not going to sit up here and be like that. And it was just like, why do I got to be with fake folks around me like that? I don't have time. I keep it real. And a lot of times people don't like it when you keep it real. Just being myself. And I had to get to that point. Don't worry about what the next person think of you. It's how you think of yourself. Because if you really didn't have something good going on with you or you really about to touch on something, the devil wouldn't be distracting you. And them haters of theirs wouldn't be sitting up here trying to uh, worry about the next, you know, next move you're going to make. You know, keep your progression to yourself. Don't let nobody know what you're aiming towards. Don't let them know what the, some project you, you, you know, you're working on. You keep that to yourself. Even when you are down in the dumps, 
and really just don't know how you're going to get up out of there. Somebody, you still good. In actuality, you still good. You just going through a transition. You really just trying to understand what is this experience trying to teach me? What do I need to know about myself and my surroundings? What do I need to stay focused on and bring it to light so I can manifest this? Being able to have that courage in myself that I can overcome anything. You know, a lot of times it's hard. They know it's like universe didn't give you something where it's going to be a walk in the park. You know, they want to give you something that, that they really seem that is impossible, but you are that possible. Your haters didn't expect for you to be the unexpected. You know, just for all the things you're doing, because there's something in you they don't want you to find out. There's something in you they want to be able to rob you of. But they can't rob you of that. They can't rob you of your innocence. They can't rob, rob you of your love and compassion because that's going to constantly grow you know don't allow yourself to stay angry at people like that because it's just like you know sometimes we get mad and I say I, I want to embarrass that person I want to do this because you have to understand if it's a narcissist and you're talking bad and you want to go on the internet and all that different stuff that's not going to upset them they are wanting to get your attention whether it's good or bad there are people out there that probably hate on you and they be talking all this daggone junk about you and you're trying to understand why these people come to me and I don't know what you're talking about. You know, you have to understand, don't worry about what other people say about you in the street because that will show their character on you. Like, you know, it, it was at that point where, you know, I talked about different things that I was going in, into my life. It was tr truly traumatizing. You know, stuff that I'm still trying to heal from. But I had to get to that point. Let me stop talking bad about them. It'll be eventually they going to tell on themselves. You know, then people will see I wasn't being, you know, I wasn't honest. You know, they weren't being honest about stuff. I ain't got to sit up here and, it, you know, put them down to make me feel good. Because you talking bad about nobody is never going to make you look good. You doing thing, underhanded things for jealousy and envy. God ain't about to bless that mess. Just allow yourself to keep moving. Oh, checkpoint. Let me keep on doing me. You ain't mad? For what? <laughs> for what? That's what the devil wants you to do. Because a lot of times you'll sit there and you have all these different plans that's going on. And it'll be some ratchet person will come up into your life and piss you off. And then the next thing you know, you ain't doing nothing. I don't feel like doing it. Say, that person made me mad. This is faggot. The question is, you know, the answer is, you allow them to do it. To do that. No, I can't bring something to you and you welcome it in. Because if you ain't trying to respond to that, you know, then you ain't got nothing to say. You ain't got no response. My quietness is my response. I'm not going to argue with fools. I'm not going to do that. You're like, you did it. Mm, okay. I don't even care what people say about me. If you want to add something in there, add it in there. You know, because people do and say anything they want to make you look bad. Okay. You got that gift of gab that can really take you places. Really going to help other people take you to places. You know, we're all student teachers in a situation. You're learning so much. You're teaching other people stuff they may not know about and vice versa. But you keep it real. A lot of people don't like that. They're too close and too comfortable with the fake facade they got. The persona. They ain't going to show nobody the real them because I don't want to be judged. Why are you worrying about that? God only judge you. I don't care about the next person, what they think about me. You know, you constantly bringing your power to me. I said, that's a mental illness. When you come up on uh, different social sites and visiting certain people, you know and good well you don't like them. You get pissed off if you see something on their channel or picture or, uh, you know, on, on uh, Instagram or something like that. And you getting all jealous and mad. You put yourself in a position to piss you off. Oh, something ain't got nothing to do with you. Nothing. It has a lot to do with them. A lot of people are not willing to grow. But a lot of times, you like, you see what they're doing. Do you want to be like that? No. Nope. Wish them well, wish blessings to them. I ain't got, I ain't hold no ill will towards somebody. It took me a long time to get out my feelings about people. And then it had to be that point. Look at it from a different perspective. We can just easily look at everything not, um, you know, a negative. You know, it's easy to put a negative narrative on it. Look at it for what they're telling you people you know constantly bringing drama to you they say little stuff to really get up under your skin you know they see you happy or they see you mad and they really trying to make you mad baby that's showing you happy people don't hate and hating people ain't happy misery loves company don't RSVP that mess you keep doing you 
Because that reflection and stuff like that, it lets you know they're triggered by you. Anybody that tries to trigger you is because they're triggered by the stuff that you're doing. Especially if you're doing something positive. Because they see you moving along in your life. They don't like seeing that. They seeing all the things they wished on you didn't transpire. You know, because God's wanting you to know, use that power for good. You know, don't allow, you know, what other people are saying to occupy your mind on what they did because you're doing exactly what the devil wanted them to do. It's a mere distraction. Take a note on that. You know, a lot of times it's hard for you not to say something when somebody keep poking and poking and poking. But it's just at that point. You being combative blocks you on your blessings. You being combative with somebody keeps you from focusing on what is therapeutic to you, what is positive to you, that's taking you to that next level for you. Allow yourself to get out that mess. Every dog got his day. You know, you don't want to connect with stuff like that. Maybe sometimes it takes, I'd rather be burnt out and depleted from me holding my tongue. Yeah, instead of going upside of somebody's heads and really taking it to the streets. Because it's just like, people want you, this is not your war. Just because you're a warrior, not every war, every fight is your battle. Let them battle their own. Let go of the, you, you know, you already trying to let go of your weight. Let go of their weight too. That's not your responsibility. Because a lot of times we go around just because we're light workers. We feel like we have to heal people. No, that's not what that is. You're using your experiences, the things that you know. The things you're learning, you're passing that on to them. It's like, I'm going through all this. It's not easy. It ain't easy. But I had to be able to take patience with myself. And sometimes, you know, situations is getting uncomfortable. You have to understand you're leveling up. You are really leveling it up. And when you level up, you're going to come up with new, you know, test tactics. tactics, tactics that's the word I'm trying to use. There will be different things you're being tested by. Are you going to allow opinion of others to dictate who you are? You know what you define within you. Whatever they do, let them do that. Because you have to understand, certain people only got a certain access to you. You know, when you down in the dubs doing all this ratchet, rowdy stuff, you know, being straight drama and the trauma, you know, y'all were good, ace, boom, coons. Now when you allow yourself to see this ain't getting me nowhere, this is holding me back, they're holding me back. Oh, no, no, uh come on, come back in. Come on, you know, you're trying to feed the ego. I said, you can't feed my ego. I'm good. You know, I'm good. There's so much bad things I went through, I can be able to catch that vibe. Even through text messages, a lot of times people feel like, oh, just because they don't talk to you, they don't want to talk to you on the phone, you can't read that energy through text messages. Yes, you can, boo-boo. And you have to be able to understand, being that love language, I ain't got time for that drama language. I've been there, done that. They ain't taking me nowhere. I'm trying to reach a pinnacle that I ain't never discovered before. You know, there's a vision I see that was only meant for me. Let people talk. Let people say whatever they want to say about you. You know, because secure people stay quiet. Okay? Anything that, I mean, it's not working on the truth. Don't be trying to convince people of that. Because usually God will send that your way just to show you you're, using, you're looking for approval from other people. You're allowing yourself to seek uh, external validation, you validate yourself. Don't worry about what other people say because there are going to be so many definitions of you. There will be times that you hurt people and they're not going to have something good to say about you. There's people that you admired and inspired and they don't have nothing but love for you. But there will be some people that just can't stand who you are. And make you know, oh, she do this and oh, she do that. You know, and it gets to that point or oh, he do this, oh, he do that. Sometimes people are going to get curious and really try to peep out what you're doing. And there are some people who go riding on that gravy train. But then there will be some people that are really woke. Oh, you just intimidated by them. That's why you want to say that. You know, because this person ain't even talking bad about you. It used to be that point where I used to dog my family out. Don't know any of my family. Them examples, them exes I won't do again. You know, they really done said some stuff. And I used to really bring that into my videos. And it's like, stop victimizing yourself. You are not a victim of the circumstances. You are not that mask they try to place on you. You bigger than that. You better than that. And they see that. That's why they always keep on having the, your dirt, dirt attached to your name in every form. You know. You had to get to that point. Stop taking it personal. They showing you who they truly are. And you keep being you. You ain't even got to address the stuff. 
Somebody come to me about some, I'm like, I don't care. I'm on my own business. I don't talk to nobody. I don't got no friends. You know, I do what all I got to do. I do my transactions, spiritual transactions through YouTube or, you know, through my podcast or, you know, or on IG or something like that. I don't have time for all that. I'm ready to grow. I don't have time to be talking about my toxic relationship I got out of. I don't want to sit up here and talk about my family done did everything they want to do, them examples they try to do with me, trying to shut my daggone truth down. You can't shut my truth down. Only I can do that. You know, you are loved and you're protected. Because it'd be a lot of times for my put some mess on you and straight, stuck, stupid, and confused. Why? I put all this stuff on them. And nothing happened. You've been chosen. You are highly protected. You know, there'll be different times where you know somebody wish bad on you. Ask you different questions just so they can put that word out and try to block what you're trying to do next. That's the reason why somebody asks you, why are you so worried about me? Why are you watching me? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Because they don't want to see you grow. And they see that you, you're trying to do something better for your life. But they ain't trying to do that. Not everybody going to go on that journey with you. There's some times right now you have to pick some harsh circumstances. People want to always constantly bicker with you. They always want to be controlling of you. They want to say stuff and try to get up under your skin. You tell them what you don't like and they made a purpose to make sure they do it just because they know you don't like it. You know, when people know your pet peeves and they really want to get up under your skin, they'll constantly do that, which is actually a blessing. You know, because it's at that moment in time you're getting towards that growth where dissolving old tactics, limited beliefs, you know, trifling, um, trifling and toxic habits, patterns, all that stuff is being dissolved. So you, you're in these karmic cycles and these karmic next, uh, connections with, you know, trauma bonding, copen codependency, all these different things so you can dissolve that. See where your issues are. Just like when you connect with other tribes. There's going to be something where you're really going to irritate somebody's soul because that, I didn't get that view. Why? You know, I've been learning this and this and this and that. Why do they get this, you know, this? And I don't. Everybody got, got their own thing. That's why we're learning off of everybody. That's why, you know, we're dealing with higher ups, you know, ancient ones, the collectives, thunder beings, all those different things. Different tribes are coming in together. Something big is, you know, going on because there's a lot of different tribes that weren't doing that is all of a sudden doing that now. It's hush hush. You know, you're seeing different things. You're seeing more fire rituals. You're starting to see uh, different symbolisms, you know, hieroglyphs, patterns that you weren't able to understand before because it's like your mind, you know, heightening in quantum physics. You know, all these different things you weren't able to like, tag them out. I wasn't able to see that before. You're going through a line of growth. And when you're allowing yourself to be that tool to transform ascend further than you ever ascended before because the universe is letting you know you're ready don't be scared this is your opportunity to shine like you ain't never shined before and a lot of times for you to be successful like that you have to be able to disappear for a while you know really understand okay what's my gift of gab what what's the things that i really had to allow myself to let go of what people do i need to stop talking to what things do i have to just accept not just about myself but other people you know, when people are comfortable with misunderstanding you, stop giving that energy. Be quiet. Say yes or no answers. You know, different things like that. It can be challenging at times, but these are the things you're really healing from. You really know. It can hurt deep. Because there's a lot of people you're having to break, break. You, you ain't breaking bread with them no more. You have to be able to go and move on to that next level. Because that was that's the end of that access of that vibration of you. So things are starting to get really uncomfortable. You're getting very agitated. Why is all this happening? Because you're being taught to strengthen yourself. Be in that ultimate oneness with yourself. You're molding the best version of yourself. This is that thing that's going to heighten you. You're going to be vibing towards things that you never thought to be qualified to. But yet, universe and God and our ancestors made sure you got through that door. That it is very selective for certain people to go through that door. It's kind of like a spiritual elite thing, you know, minus the dark magic and all that stuff. But I'm just saying, spiritual elite thing where they knew you were the best, you know, best one to be able to go through that, you know. And you'll start understanding, you know, a lot of times it can hurt, you know, with human. <laughs> you know, you get pissed off. You're like, why does this person keep bringing drama to me? I want to be happy. I want to see them happy. You know, if you're that type of person, 
that you want to see everybody win, but other people ain't going to want to give you answers. Nobody want to give you suggestions. They'll probably send you down, down a way that they know it's the wrong way just because they know that you can probably have a huge impact with something just so small, so minute. You know, universe will give you certain things or put you in certain positions and you know, have people shook. That person was homeless last week. Now this person is a CEO of a damn empire. How the heck did that happen? God made that happen. You wonder why people give you a hard time and always want to, you know, keep on coming up with you bull crap. Because they see something in you. They don't want you to discover that. They want you to feel doubtful about yourself. They want you to make you, make you feel like you're going to stay in that struggle for a long time. That struggle was a preparation preparation for a massive ascension. You, you about to really catapult somewhere. But you had to do that through struggle. You had to do that from setbacks, mishaps, mistakes, you know. Because it really wants you to really truly appreciate when that door comes open. Because you're opening doors that you didn't even know that was there. You can go around and be a wall there all the time. And all of a sudden, you like, you know, open the door. Hey, oh, we were waiting on you. Where the heck did they move this door at? Why was this door? It wasn't ready for you to see yet. There are still many things that you had to experience and learn and grow from. Being able to have forgiveness, not just for other people, but really truly for yourself. And a lot of times that mess hurt. It hit deep. Because a lot, you know, it's, it's, you know, we're all in that vibe of transmuting, you know, uh, holding ourselves accountable for the things that we, you know, contributed. And, you know, you did, you know, it could be, okay, I went through a line of suffering. Okay, anybody can go through that. But there was a part of you that entertained that. You, it put weight on that. Hold yourself accountable for that. Be honest with yourself. So many people are used to living in a lie, but when you hold truth to it, that's going to piss a lot of people off because you're irritating their demons. They got for size. They want to be seen a certain way. They don't want, you know, people try to make themselves look perfect, you know, perfect petty and all that junk. But when you allow yourself to keep it real, you know, and it, that's, that's what takes strength. People see you crying and upset and you're in your moods. You know, when you're going through different things, you're trying to be honest with yourself, face different things. Let them laugh. Let them laugh. Let them mock you. Because you're the one that is allowing yourself to grow. Face these things. which They're no longer needing to be able to connect with you. Because the ones that's making fun of you and want to brag about the stuff you're going through is the ones that's too tired, too scared. All excuses because they don't want to change. You have to really understand that. You had that time. To have that truth to be able to, you know, because what we're going through ain't for the weak at heart. And just because you're in your emotions and your feelings, you know, in confusion, you feel like your heart's breaking. You feel like everybody on turning back on you is you against the world. But you're being brave enough to approach this, really get a deeper understanding. Not about just the world, but the entirety of yourself. And that hits deep. You know, you start seeing things different. You start understanding. So it's just like you have to be able to look at life. And sometimes it's hard to do that, you know, just, you know, especially if there's different circumstances, to be able to look at your life and see how much changed you. You can't say all good things, you know, uh, has changed me. But they want you to be able to not just ignore the bad things, but those bad things brought you to good things. You know, you got blessings that are waiting for you. You know, and when you're getting close to that, devil come heavy. He wants you to think that God's lying. God ain't about to have nothing for you. Keep on making you think your life going to be a living hell all the time. It ain't going nowhere. That's what he wants you to think because he knows you about to make an impact. You, Your purpose is here on purpose. You matter. You are part of something here. And they want you to make you think that you're not. What's wrong with me? I'm not enough. You're overqualified. And they know that. And that's why they, they do you like that. They want you always sitting in the back. No, I deserve to sit in the front. Thank you. Goodbye. You know. But you allow yourself to grow. Let people be petty. Okay. Just allow them to do that. Because you you hold strength when you allow yourself to say, you know what, I'm having a bad day today. You know, a lot of people drop me a comment saying, girl, you are strong. You know, strong is all you have to live off of. You know, what I went through. You know, <laughs> that, you know, I'm proud of myself. It scares me on how I made it this far.
but I became appreciative of that because I've been through so much. I had so much backstabbing gone to me, you know. People, you know, trying to, you know, find out where they can block me from. All those different things. And I try to understand why you have something that is very beautiful where you can open up and tell your story of experience and you don't know how inspiring you can be. You may be, oh, why am I, I don't know if anybody can get inspired about things you have you gave it a chance. That's why God sent a lot of people to you. You wonder why, you know, people are like, why are they tell me their whole life story? Because God sent them to you. You were that, what they prayed for. And it's you, what you prayed for. Because a lot of times when we sit up here and talk to somebody and it'll just hit you, you'll feel a shift when you say something because it's a beautiful question you've been wondering yourself. And just God bring that person in, you end up answering your own question. Because they always say, what you're searching for is already searching you. You know, what you're looking for is already within. You, when you can't understand what's going on outside, it's time to go in. And you have to be able to do that. Don't feel like when you press pause, not giving up now. Because sometimes you want to walk off and give up. But you have to understand, there's something about to be huge and blessed in your life. Oh, it ain't going to come easy. <laughs> Everybody and mama going to come up there and spiritually be cock blocking you. Because they don't want you to have that. That's mine. It should be me. If it was supposed to be for you, it would have been for you. You being mad at me, be mad at God. You know. You know, we having people do, you know, just doing that. I just look at people like, oh, you must think you're better than God, huh? <laughs> you really must think you're better than God. So if you think you about to bring me down like that, you basically telling me you better than God. You go ahead. I'm going to sit right here in the nose, please, section. Because I am not trying to get caught up in that mess. You don't want to piss God off. You got a really dark humor. And you know, and it's really being shaken up right now. Everything that's going on is heightened. The shit sound crazy. You know, it may seem impossible, but you are that possible. You know, you own those pluses. You earn your flowers. You know, but allow yourself when the enemy come, use that energy and say, "Work it on me. Keep on bringing it. Don't allow yourself to be. Keep on bringing it, because that'll be extra energy you can use to transport and then go on to that next level. Thank you. Keep on. Come on." Keep on bringing it. You know, be people be constantly talking about you. If they want to believe that, let them believe it. Their opinion does not define you. Some people are just still addicted and connected to that old person you that don't even exist no more. A lot of people will keep coming at you sideways because they want an excuse to keep on using your past against you because you you know you may you you prepare for that future. You know. And these are the things that's really going to teach you. You're going to appreciate the hard times as well as the good times. Because if you didn't have those, you wouldn't be as far as you are now. Even if you're not where you want to be, you, you feel like there's something that's coming. There's something you need to be expecting. Especially if the fact is you ain't, your, your sleep habits, you get anxious for a minute. Like, what, what's going on? Because your body is getting used to it. It's like, get strong, strongly connected to your intuitive, your intuition, your gut. That's your silent alarm. It will, it will tell you the truth before anything else do. And it's telling you prepare. You know, right now, it's, you know, it's been talked about, you know, when you're being put in solitude. You know, and sometimes it just depends on what you're going through. If you really haven't got familiar with your life. You know, because it, it was a while back, you know, a few years back. That I didn't like being alone with my thoughts, you know. And what I know now, I had to be. Because a lot of that stuff was uncomfortable. I was going through a lot. And I didn't like being in, in the moment of my thoughts, but I had to be able to, you know, change how I communicated with myself. You know, be honest, yes, it's hurt deep, but it's the fact is that that, that hurt is going to really strengthen you. That trife that other people are projecting towards you is going to strengthen you. You know, people will tell you, you <laughs> how you think you're going to do that? That's way too big. Don't ever let somebody tell you your dreams are too big. Just because they, well, I don't think I have it. What You know, when people want to give up, you are the ones that can't. There's some people in this world that just are okay at being. You know, many are called, but only a few are chosen. You know, not everybody want to change. You know, they don't want to accept certain things that happen the way they are. They don't want to get to the root of where all their troubles is coming from. You know, they'd rather play a victim or claim, you know, place blame on everybody else and never hold yourself accountable. You know they, they were the issue, but you have to be able to okay, be okay and say, I got to accept it. But I have to move on. This is not this is not an energy. This is irritating the heck out of my soul. I can't. You know, it's time for me to grow. It's time for me to move on. You know, and it will be a time when things start moving 
differently for you and it's just like a lot of you we, we moving rapid and it's like you getting all kind of say gross through music you be saying something next thing you know boom the music come on you be like I mean I was just thinking about that song or it could be that person you're really thinking of you could be on uh, one of the social media sites or somebody can text you and it can be that person or you can be saying you know I'll remember this movie and next thing you know you flip the channel and the mess is on and they're trying to show you listen to what is being shown to you you know Listen to what's being told to you. You know, you get that little whisper in your ear. Hey, do this. Like, what? Do this. Or it'll say something where you ain't familiar with. Next thing you know, you go look that up and you're like, oh my gosh, shut your mouth and keep on talking. You know, you'll start seeing stuff because everything getting really intense right now. And for that to happen, you know, all these portals are coming open and people are sniffing out all good things that's coming in you. And you're like, no, let me leech onto them. Be careful. Everybody in your circle is not in your corner. You gotta, you, you know, you gotta evaluate too. You start cutting stuff off. You are not worth my energy. I got my energy on better stuff. You wanna go ahead and be in, be a warrior of your own war that you don't wanna, you know, lay down and give up this stuff and surrender. You wanna keep it? Uh uh. You ain't blocking me, <laughs> cause you know a lot of times you gotta be able to understand. Cause when universe is giving you that, that that notation, leave that person alone, or they start closing doors. Don't go open that back up. You know, because it's like karma is hitting in intense ways right now. And it could be certain people that, you know, just constantly just just coming at you, coming at you. Because right now, and it's been for a while, warnings are really coming heavy. Warning, warnings are really coming heavy because it's just like, they always say you can't mess with the chosen ones. You can't put something on somebody like that and don't feel like there ain't going to be no retaliation. You can't do somebody a certain kind of way because of your issues and thinking it's going to fly, you know. Because sometimes we ask God, why are you allowing, you know, if I end up snapping back and holding up for myself and pop off and cuss them out, why are you sitting up here, you know, placing harm on me and you ain't doing nothing to them? Oh, trust me, he dealing with them not every time you, you going to see what's going on. But the universe and God is really dealing with them. A lot of times you won't see it. They ain't going to say nothing because they know the reason why it's happening. You know, but a lot of times you let them be that, let them stay in their own struggle and just pray for them, you know, because they don't really need it. And if people, you know, universe is telling you, hey, slow your roll. Hey, stay in your lane. Hey, leave that person alone. Hey, stay focused on you. Go heal. Go find out. And they want to ignore that. And universe is like that. The universe and God is in, in that type of uh, vibration if you got to keep on telling you and they gonna make you oh baby it's, it's gonna be something serious so they're telling you stay away from people like that no matter how much they bring in stuff to you leave them alone you don't want to be a part of that karma because it's like when you when you going back and forth like that I ain't got time I'm gonna say what I gotta say I'm not gonna mm -mm. I ain't about to be combative with you I said what I said <laughs> and I'm, I'm done you know and just walk off you can't be doing that or I have to don't even say nothing at all because a lot of times people just say something just to see get a response out of you. Just to irk your nerves. Just want to do something stupid because they got something going on. Use that power to help you grow. Because if you got enemies, you, trust me, you got a lot of power coming on towards your way. Transmute that mess. Turn off that ego. Leave that ego alone. Tell them, I'm glad you showed me what I you showed me because there's so much you taught me. Enemies, I'm so glad you showed me because you allow me to say, I don't want your type of situation. <laughs> I don't want to be you you know I want good things to go in my life don't wish nothing hateful towards your enemy you pray for them they already in enough pain that's why the hell they doing the stuff they doing misery loves company pray for them because they're not trying to face the problems they got and not knowing if they seen what you seen they better go ahead and start get ready <laughs> because you ain't got time for that you have to keep going keep going because you got something special coming your way and if God made you wait this long it's something that you never expected so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all, I really missed y'all, but hey, gotta take time for the prime. You know, it's had to go. So I hope y'all have been able to have a blessed day. I hope, you know, all the transitions is going your way. It's starting to show you productive energy. You know, place yourself in positivity. Allow yourself to unwind. You know, these things that we're going through is really hidden in ways that just make you feel like you're going crazy. You know, things are falling apart, but these are the things that's no longer needed. People exiting out your life, they ghost you. And I mean, it, it's really going. It could be even with family. Husband, wife, baby mama, baby daddy, children. All these different things. Well, children, if they're in an older sense. 
You know, you have to be able to let go. And then a lot of times it's hard to do that. But universe is telling you, you have to have that power. There's a reason why they're telling you to leave them alone. You know, there's moves that's really taking place. You have to understand devil and their minions is really, you know, you think people ain't watching. They watching you like a hawk. You know, they want to be on you like flies on, mm, you know. And those are the different things that allow you to keep doing you. Send prayers to those people that keep on trying to bring pain towards you. You keep growing. Not allowing people's drama to invade the product, you know, your productive uh, activities that you need to go do. That right there should make you want to jump on it more. Because they see something and they don't want you to discover that. So you keep doing you. Because better days are coming. So um, I would love to give a post notification. Shout out to uh, Brian uh, Farrington. Much love to you and welcome to the fam. It's so good to have you. Uh, Divine Feminine. Uh, God, uh, God by Spirit. And Timberwolf. Much love to you. I always leave my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's just about spiritual networking. You know, there's a lot of times we're being led to have a deeper understanding about our purpose, the gifts that we have. Because there's a lot of things that is, you know, is starting to switch on. The gifts you already had is heightened into some daggone intense situations where you are more sensitive than ever right now. So there's a lot of people that we're needing to connect with on that spiritual level to really understand what's taking place. You know, because there are certain things, you know, we're, we're student, student teacher situations. We're all learning from each other. You know, you want them to grow more. And when it's just like when you're allowing yourself to not force control in it and just allow yourself to ride and let it slide, you know, you, you about to be in, in certain places you never thought you'd be. You know, so I love to be able to communicate with people. I tell them, hey, you can email me, you know, uh, you know, hit me up on IG. And all those different things. You know, I also do podcasting too. You know, I'll put those on my community section if you would love to hear those. Um, and if you feel like you, you, you know, uh, your grace is enough to make a donation, the Cash App is there as well. You know, whatever you're trying to man, uh, bring in the manifestation of your fruition, I send so much love, energy, whatever you're needing right now that you may be struggling uh, to get to and connect with. You know, I'm sending that love to you, you know, because you're going to get it. You know, keep on allowing yourself to believe it. Even when things in your surroundings really feel like you're nowhere near it, you know, that can just be a test. Are you going to really go for yours? Are you going to be complacent or are you going to be compliant? You know, stay motivated and determined because you got you. There's something beautiful and this is about to open the doors for you, so don't give up. You need to take, you know, take some time off, do that. You know, self-evaluation. You know, you got to understand what, what's going on. Why am I allowing myself to be stagnant? You know, and these are the different things that's coming up for you to really help you get to that next level. So I hope you are able to get something out of this uh, video. I did not expect it to be this long, but... You know, hey, I got to say what I got to say. So I hope you have a blessed Sunday, a uh, blessed week, productive week. You know, miracles of doors is opening up. So you allow yourself to get ready because you truly deserve it. And, you know, be safe uh, and be responsible at everything you do. And, um, you know, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, right frequencies. This will really help somebody go a long way. And just because you did that without wanting anything in return, it will be even take you even further. Much love. Peace.